Have you been struggling trying to expand records on a SharePoint list and you're not quite sure how to do it from either Power BI Desktop or Power Query? I'm going to show you how to do that and also show you a little bit about M syntax and how you can use that to expand your records. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube. Today I am traveling remotely. I'm actually in Arkansas. I'm visiting some family. And so I am bringing you this. Instead of seeing the backdrop of my cube, you get the lovely fish instead. So last week I was working with some of the support folks and we were going through an issue where they were trying to expand records from a SharePoint list. So I don't know if you've ever seen this when you go into Power BI Desktop or Power Query and you go into the list of actual records in the preview and you will see where it says record listed there. And what they wanted to know how to do is how do we get the values out of that into a table format that we can use in our report. And so this was one of those experiences where I didn't necessarily know off the top of my head, but I went through and said, look, let's just poke around and see what we can find. And so I went to Bing and I did some searches for Power Query, M Syntax, and tables. And I found a blog post by Matt Mason where he showed how to do this with a function off of a table. And that clued me in to see what other functions were there available. That led me to MSDN where I actually saw the listings of the ones that are available. And one of the items that were there was from records. So I said, hey, let's give that a try. And I, I actually remember commenting when I went to go do this, I said outright, I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's try this, it looks like it may work. And so I created this syntax to see if that would actually do what we wanted it to do. And sure enough, it worked. So you can use from records, they also have other functions that are there, such as from lists. And this is a way that you can go and actually transform data into a usable format for your report. So that's great, we can do that from an M syntax and we can play around with that and see what else we can do in terms of expanding and working with fields. But as I was validating this for a blog post, I actually found out that you can do this through the UI. And so the way that you can do it through the UI is if you highlight the field that have those record items in it, right click on it and go to to table, and that will transform it into a new column at that point, you can click on the icon in the upper right of the header, and that will actually expand the items in the list to give you that table format. If we go look at the M syntax for that, you will see that it's actually using from list instead of from records, and you actually see the expand command present there. So this one's a little more verbose. We can get the same result by doing a custom M syntax and just doing from records. Either way, it's a great option for you to use to actually go in and pull records out if you actually see the record item there from a column perspective. Do you have any questions about that? Does it make sense? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know what you thought. Also, be sure to check out the comments and see if anyone else has any other thoughts or questions down below that you may be able to answer. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I do a technical item just like this where I take a look at how to troubleshoot something, how something works, or look at a new feature. Every Thursday I do an information roundup where I look at the last week and I find items that I thought were interesting and share that out with you. And really this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.